I know people are like, I ain't got time to do all that. Ain't nobody got time to be tracking nobody's food. I ain't got time to do all that. But it helps, right? <clears throat> hey, friends. Welcome to this week's weight loss vlog. My name is Brandy. Happy Sunday. I hope you guys are having an amazing weekend. I am super excited to share with you this week's weight loss vlog. This is going to be a quick one. Um, so in today's vlog, I will be sharing this morning's workout. Um, I want you guys to come along and work out with me. Um, I went through, as you guys know before, I follow a lot of workout people on Instagram and like on TikTok and stuff like that. So I got some moves. Um, her name is Jeanette Jenkins, I think it is. I'll add her at down here so you can see. I um, looked at a couple of her videos. So today, um, the second part of my workout will be moves that I saw on her Instagram page. So I would love for you guys to share this workout or do this workout with me um, in this video. Also, um, I'm gonna let you guys know, 4th of July weekend, well, I guess you could say, yeah, 4th of July weekend, so July 2nd, I had my first weight gain since I've been back on um, my weight loss journey this year, since March 11th, 2022, I had my first gain of 1.4 pounds. And let me tell you guys, I was like, oh, no, no. You know, like I was like, oh my God, I've been working too hard. I cannot believe I gained 1.4 pounds. Brandy. So I was so so mad. So I worked very very hard. So let me go back, right? So with that weight gain, so July 7th, I mean I'm sorry, July 2nd, I with that 1.4 weight gain, I weighed 288.2. Yeah, I did. I mean, I you know it happens, right? It happens. But I've been doing so good to focus on it not happening. Hey, it's just part of the journey, right? We're gonna have times where we go up and down, up and down, okay? Um, so let me tell you what happened that week. So that week, I have, I changed my menu. So I ate things that I normally wouldn't eat, so they were higher in points. And to some people, they're probably like, oh, that's not bad, but I ate white rice, so I had a cup of white white rice. Every day was my dinner. Um, and what else did I have? I had, I had white rice and I ate some, this, this is what I get. I ate some of my daughter's bread and nuggets, okay? I, I, I ate some of those, but I did serving wise. But with the changes, like the changes in my lunch, with the snacks, um, the snacks for higher points, like I, once again, ate my daughter's cookies. So the, um, I needed to go grocery shopping is what the problem was. So instead of me taking time after work to go to the grocery store, but who wants to go to the grocery store after work? I was like, oh, I'll just eat what's in the house and make do with it. So by me doing that, and it wasn't like all of the items because the dinner and the lunch was planned, but it was additional parts of it in this in the swap out substitution that I did, like rice and stuff like that, that I haven't been eating that much at all, is what I didn't get a blue dot. Right? That's exactly what happened. I didn't get a blue dot not one day that week. Okay. So I knew that I had to either cut in half what I was doing and change it. You guys, and it paid off. So because I had made so much rice, right, and I was eating tilapia, I was also eating that blackened chicken by Tyson because that's zero points, um, I cut it in half and it paid off. So what I did was um, I had, instead of having a cup of rice, I had half a cup. Oh, and you know what else I had in that menu too? Corn. I have not had any corn since I've been working out and so I was having like um, a cup of corn, right? Which a cup of corn is only like one point. However, it showed on the scale by that gain that the stuff that I did that week 
for my food choices just did not work for me, right? So every day it put me over. So what I did is I cut all that in half because I was like, I'm not gonna waste this food. I'm gonna figure out a way to, to eat it without gaining weight. So I had a half a cup of rice. I had a half a cup of corn. I just, I had a half a pack of my daughter's cookies instead of the whole pack because the whole pack was nine points. It was the Lorna shortbread cookies. They're so good though, right? Um, so by me doing that, when I weighed in yesterday, which was July 9th, I weighed in at 287. Woohoo! So I am down 1.2 pounds from last week. So what I gained, I'm down, you know, 1.2. So I am super, super proud of myself and excited. And I also made sure I kept my water intake up this week to make sure I dropped the weight. So I'm down a total of, I think it's 22.4 pounds, but I think it's 22.4 pounds I'm down, but I will add it in. I should have had it down here in my notebook, but I didn't. So I will add it in so you guys can see um, what my total weight loss is so far. Yeah, I didn't write it down. So yeah, I will add it in. So right now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add the clips of this morning's workout. Blessings falling on me. I got weapons, need no armies. That like Tetris, you don't know me. That my fatty, you don't know me. Okay, hey now, nah, it's a new kid on the playground. So many bags on me, you would've thought I was a spray ground. Now they know I don't play around. I can hear what you're saying now. I just doubled up my flight miles. Coast to coast, no, they ain't in town. I get rich, watch, then I get a sick watch Watch me hit the top, I might make a TikTok Left hand, right hand Catch the latest trend, I might double up my net worth I've been going up now, I see the top going down If you didn't know now, I know you know now Best cause she could go on top, you not really top You keep saying top, well I guess you let the top
hey guys i hope you guys like today's video get up move around and work out you know even if you can only do 20 or 30 minutes make yourself a priority i appreciate you guys for rocking with me each and every single week please don't forget don't to like comment and share don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so every time i upload a video you will be notified i'm gonna go ahead and end um, this video with my weight loss affirmations and this is just a reminder for yourself self-love to love yourself okay um, commit to making this a lifestyle. We often have hard times doing that, right? We, you know, like, like everybody, even me, you know, we commit to it for a little while and then after that we just fall off, right? So let's do better at this older age and in this time and day. Um, let's go ahead and commit to making this a lifestyle. We have to make it a habit to get up and choose us every single day. And that is just a true statement because sometimes, like yesterday, I was supposed to work out. I had all this set up to work out yesterday. And I was like, you know what though? Sometimes we need a lazy day, but today we're right back on it, right? Being productive, okay? Um, this is not a race. Track your food, right? Um, let me go back. This is not a race. It's a marathon, right? We're gonna we're looking at this as long term, not short term. So, track your food, like whatever helps you out. Like I use Weight Watchers. I track by points, and I also use my Fitness Pal app because I like to see the pie chart. So I kind of use both. My Fitness Pal app has a pie chart, and it lets you know how many carbs, how much protein. On. I like to look at that. So I use that for that, and also just make sure my calories are kind of staying in the range that it also should, but I mainly use 96%, 98% of the time I use my Weight Watchers app, Gun Ho for my points, but because sometimes I like to see the pie chart, I use my Fitness Pal app. So track your food by servings, um, calories, whatever works for you to help you, because sometimes when you track your food, I know people are like, I ain't got time to do all that, ain't nobody got time to be tracking nobody's food, I ain't got time to do all that, but it helps, right? So we sometimes don't realize how much we are eating until we sit down and either track it in an, I, in an app or write it down. It's like, oh, I ate all that? Dang, I ate three servings at one time. It didn't seem like it was a lot, but it technically it was, right? So let's measure our food. Let's meal prep, right? I'm trying to get into the habit of meal prepping like today. I gotta wash my daughter's hair, I gotta do laundry, and I gotta meal prep for the next few days. So today is gonna be busy and productive, right? Um, don't forget to increase your water intake and make time to work out 20 to 30 minutes if you can a day, every other day, three days a week, two days a week. You know, make time for yourself to kind of get in something. It doesn't have to be like a strenuous workout or a vigorous workout. Just walk for 20 minutes, walk for 30 minutes, you know, ride a bike. Just something to get your heart rate up and your blood pumping through your system, okay? By, by no means I'm an expert. This is just me talking to you like you're talking to your girlfriend, your homeboy, your cousin, your sister, your brother, anybody. I'm not an expert. I'm just simply sharing the things that I talk to myself about every single day, okay? Don't forget to celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself every single day, not just when you make it a goal, every day. And lastly, remember, it's you versus you. You got this. So until next time, guys, take care. I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw